YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker opinion, guys. Y'all know what I do. And I'm coming live from the sneaker cave. Thanks for everybody who's been watching my previous videos, all that stuff. Y'all know I like to engage with you guys. And this is a channel for real sneaker people, you know what I mean? Now, this isn't a sneaker that came out in 1996 when this first dropped, but that OG colorway, that white, blue, and black joint, those look fly too. Um, this colorway looked like it could have came back, could have came out by that time or back then, but I definitely like the spicy colorways on this joint. Now, where did I cop these from? Joe's New Balance Outlet. Definitely a fly spot. Now, I've, you know, I go there and just comb sometimes and get lucky and find a deal and just check out. These I end up copping for maybe about like 40 bucks. Yeah, I got these last year, late, late, late last year, because the year was just about to turn to 2021. And these took so long to come through and I didn't care how long it took, you know what I mean? I just forgot about it. I'm just like, you know, I'd be surprised once I get these with the whole Rona happening. This is around the time when the mail was slowed up real bad, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is a 2020 pickup. Long story short, it's an affordable sneaker, right? It, it kinda, the reason why I like it because it, it looks like a trail sneaker, you know? And I think the colorway definitely gives off that 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 vibe especially with this sneaker it looks fun it looks nickelodeon like it look 90 it look 90s like you know damn near nick at night like you know what i mean kind of almost rug rats a little bit going into the overview of this sneaker you don't have anything too special as far as the materials go you could tell they switched it up a little bit or whatever i could tell you know certain sneakers are built with probably leather in mind um for them to put it like a new buck right here I already see the creases along the toe box which isn't a big deal to me but you know you also got like the white new buck going along the paneling a mesh toe box for breathability a mesh tongue for breathability as well obviously you guys can see what the top says up there new balance 850 with the new balance logo definitely like that logo this definitely looks like a acg like model going to the back obviously you got the orange and they do this thing with the sock liner where they just leave the back of the color right here. That was kind of funny to me. Um, also, the insole is actually starting to wear out on mine because I wore this. Now, it originally said New Balance running, but one of the problems I do see with this is this felt like new buckle in the back. Once this kind of stuff gets dirty, you know, I'm very conscious of this. Over time, this is gonna turn like a yellow off-white like colorway. I really welcome the colorway, you know, the vintage character on sneakers. In most cases, you know, the sneaker going to age anyway. And the only color this is going to turn, like I said, is more of an off-white yellow. Now, initially out the box, these isn't like, this isn't like bright, bright white. So, you know, this is definitely a dust magnet. Definitely going to have to use the horse hair brush to brush this off. You also got the embroidered blue New Balance on the back, B. Going to the side, you have the, what looks to be, but it almost looks like an elephant print somewhat right there you can see the dimples and speckles along the paneling in black going to the toe cap you do have a leather toe cap does this affect wearability not really i actually went down to a size nine and a half as far as sizing with this guys i would say go your true new balance size the size didn't really too much change most of the time if you wear a wide if you have a wide foot, you can go true to size with New Balance. You can also go a half size down. Most people go a half size down, sometimes a full size down, because New Balances do fit kind of large. Going to the top right here, you do have a speckle of reflective material for running. These were actually meant to be running sneakers. As much as these look like lifestyle sneakers, I can see how they can kind of be running sneakers after actually wearing them. But when I first put these on, I was like, oh man, I like the way the sneaker look, but it's about to be stiff. And that's basically because of the material. The whole upper at the top was basically stiff. You also got mesh going along the paneling as well. White mesh for breathability. But once you wear these sneakers, you know, uh, I would say probably about a good five days straight, four to five days straight. You know, I don't do that whole, you know, one to two days. You need, man, you need time to break in a sneaker. Everybody walks different, need time to mold your foot. 
the roll bar and the New Balance logo at the bottom. As far as the small parts of technology on here, the, you do have the New Balance Absorb 2 on the back. This is just a simple foam cushioning. Now a lot of this stuff was introduced in like the 80s. A lot of sneakers from my research was, a, you know, they used to run low to the ground and that impact used to like mess with people's leg and everything and you know and a lot of companies, sneaker companies from my research actually adopted their, their own kind of foam material to actually help the runner or walker run better, you know, long story short. You also got the roll bar technology. This is for what they call pronation. And all that is, is just when you're running and it just, you know, it, it's, it just helps the foot line up when you're running. Now, obviously we're not gonna do no running in this, but for 1996, if you're looking at this for like a running sneaker, people actually thought it was a cross trainer sneaker for like tennis or the gym or something like that based off this low cut look and this embroidery on the side. Some people ankles, lastly, they go in like this. I'm gonna show a picture of that as well. Like, and that's what this roll bar is supposed to help with. So when they say roll bar, you got that roll bar going along the inside of here and into this side. They basically, the roll bar is basically just ripping the sneaker from side to side like this. So, you know, people that had that, that, that weird landing shape or that weird uh, walk, one of the things I definitely like about New Balance is the fact that they think about the customer's foot health. Like, go to the site, they got the wide foot, the, the, the regular foot, you know, like, so whether they hooking up the grandson, the parent, or the grandfather, the health is already in line. So yeah, that's one of the things that's definitely, like they, that's one of the things they actually still kept intact to me. You could look at the 990 V5 and you know, I just seen an old dude wearing that, you know, like my grandfather age, like just wearing that, like it wasn't, you know, the gray and white joint. And I'm wearing the all red one, you know what I mean? So it's just like, you know, uh, comfort on 1000. <laughs> Now, as far as just like, just a quick brief history with this joint though, guys. Now, the lady that actually made this, her name is actually Stephanie Howard. She graduated college in 1994. She took up design, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't mean to sound like I'm not enthusiastic about it, but I'm actually trying to remember this stuff, be, you know, so I won't get it wrong and trash this woman legacy or whatever, you know what I mean, by missing something. but. Stephanie Howard actually created these joints and they gave her the rough task of actually coming out with something new and hip. She was the youngest designer at that time at New Balance. So they like, Stephanie, hook us up with some of that young people stuff that you, you know what I mean? Like, what, what, what's fly? 1996 roll around, you know what I mean? She actually made these in 94, you know, but it takes, she said it took like a year or so for the sneaker to come out. So. These drop in 96, they definitely were a hit. Now, one of the things about this sneaker is that it does not have the big N logo. You notice they put the New Balance on the back. Kind of remind me of when Tinker removed the swoosh off the Jordans after, ooh, man. What did he take off? He took off, yeah, he took the swoosh off. That's what I thought about with this. You know, because at, at a certain point, every sneaker was coming out with these big logos. Check out her interview on Sneaker Freaker as well. And she mentioned that as well. Every sneaker was, you know, the big logos and, and all that stuff. Like, you know, uh, that's what people wanted. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you got MJ at that time. You got Nike and, you know. So to come out with something like subtle like this, straight out the blue, and for it to just take off was definitely a risk being taken. Now, she I think she said in the interview too, I just kind of breezed over it. Um, it wasn't necessarily, it wasn't too much like fight back from the company. Um, I guess they were kind of enthused. It was just, you know, they was on some stuff like, okay, let's see what it do. 
and lo and behold it actually took off so as far as taking these out the box give them a chance guys these are I don't want to say terrible straight out the box but as far as my rating on a rating scale taking these straight out the box as far as comfort I would give these a strong 6.5 now when I broke these in I gave them a I would give them they went up probably about to like a 7.5 to me personally as far as comfort go now granted I didn't wear these shoes for that long so maybe by the end of this year or something like that I might you know it might increase a little bit more due to the midsole and everything breaking in overall what I think about it comfort color model for this particular shoe I would give this out of 10, 10 being the best, one being hell no. I would give these a strong eight. And it's the colorway that really did it, did it to me. Colorways make the sneaker, guys. Like, I've seen chromatic colorways of the sneaker, not too thrilling to me. Like, they got all black and all that stuff. Like, that's fine. But I need something with some color. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I got more content on the way. Peace.